My history of math class at Hanover College traveled to Italy to learn about the influence of mathematics on Italian art, architecture, engineering, and science. There was one man who excelled in all these areas, Leonardo da Vinci. Although he is most famous for his paintings, when asked what he was, some say that he would refer to himself as an engineer. Leonardo said that painting is a science and all sciences are based on mathematics, which was revolutionary thinking at the time. He especially liked mechanical engineering and considered it the paradise of the mathematical sciences because by means of it, one comes to the fruit of mathematics. Leonardo was born out of wedlock in 1452, close to the hill town of Vinci, 15 miles west of Florence. His mother was a poor young peasant girl, and his father was from a wealthy family of notaries in Florence. Leonardo first lived with his mother, but when he was five, he went to live with his father's family in Vinci. Since he was illegitimate, he would never be able to attend a university or become a notary like his father. But fortunately, he was self-motivated and learned how to draw and teach himself. Paper was very expensive at the time, but his father was willing to buy supplies for Leonardo. One of the important influences in Leonardo's early life was his uncle Francesco, who was a farmer. He loved walking around the countryside of Vinci and often took Leonardo with him. The young Leonardo was fascinated by things he saw in his walks, birds flying, windmills turning, bridges, plants, animals, and he would often stop to draw in his notebook. Leonardo's desire to learn about nature and record it accurately in his notebooks continued for the rest of his life and it had a profound influence on his art, which you can see accurately portrayed in his landscape drawings, but they emerge as mysterious and dreamlike in his paintings, such as the winding road, the lake and the mountains behind the Mona Lisa, or the dreamy mountains and floating clouds behind the Madonna Lita. His deep interest in nature motivated him to do an in-depth study of the human body by slicing cadavers and drawing anatomical sketches that were a scientific breakthrough. His personal and scientific understanding of the human form enabled him to bring the people in his paintings to life so that the viewer sees and feels something in his paintings that does not emerge from other painters. Because of his compelling desire to understand nature, Leonardo studied mathematics and searched for physical laws to help him devise machines and inventions to help humanity. Leonardo has only 10 paintings in art galleries, but he has hundreds and hundreds of engineering designs in his notebooks. You can see beautiful implementations of his designs just down the street from the San Marco Church in Florence in the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. Oltre 250 modelli delle macchine di Leonardo da Vinci. 
le ricostruzioni sono, in maniera, sono state compiute in maniera totalmente artigianale, fatte a mano, con materiali ripetibili all'epoca, possiamo vedere che per esempio nel robot di cui del legno, il ferro, il cordame. Un calcolo bellissimo, un progetto meraviglioso di Leonardo che solo gli artigiani della Nicolai hanno potuto recuperare grazie al loro interesse passionale, sentimentale, ma anche dal punto di vista scientifico e accademico. Leonardo is certainly an inspiration for any student. The next time you're in Florence, in addition to looking down the street next to Santa Croce, where the young Leonardo went to work in Verrocchio's studio at the age of 14, checking out Leonardo's statue just outside the Uffizi Museum, and the Leonardo room inside the Uffizi, where you can see and experience his beautiful Annunciation and his adoration of the Magi. 
do stop by the Leonardo da Vinci Museum on Cavour Street and experience what Leonardo designed in a hands-on environment. It's quite a lot of fun. And for an educational experience for your community, ask your local museum to arrange for the traveling exhibit of Da Vinci Machines.